Hi, Blake with Boulevard Home. So you need a new fridge? Let's tell you what you need to be looking for when you're looking for your new fridge. So you're on the fence, you're not sure what you're gonna get. Well, let's talk about a few things in the fridge that you probably wanna be looking for. So when you're looking for a fridge, first thing you wanna do is figure out, is it gonna fit? When my delivery guys get to your house and they can't fit it in the hole, so always figure out the size and what you need to fit them in your home because you know sometimes you think well Jesus old one fit well the new one may not because you want bigger better because you got a bigger family so find out the opening and where you want to put it and figure out if you are going to have to move cabinetry so that's one thing you're always going to want to look for look for capacity will the size fit my family's need if you got a bunch of kids and you got a bunch of people that come over you like to you like to party you like to celebrate you like to have guests over well you're going to want a big fridge if if you do those things, you can have plenty of space to store all this leftover food and all the food that you're gonna be preparing. Cause who wants to go to a party without food? I love food. Other things you wanna look for. Do you want an ice maker or you do not want an ice maker? Is an ice maker important or is it not important? Well, as you all know, I love ice makers. Not really, but a lot of people love ice makers. They're gonna break. If you don't really need an ice maker, don't get an ice maker because ice makers take up space and that again reduces your capacity. So take that into consideration. But if you love your ice makers, buy the refrigerator with the best ice maker you can possibly get. And just know it's gonna fail. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, it's gonna fail. But if you like your ice, you gotta have it. Other things, different compartments in there. Does it have enough drawer space? To, I mean, as far as you have vegetable crispers and you have units that have their own middle drawer. With the middle drawer, you can make it a freezer, you can make it a refrigerator, you can make it a chiller, you can make it for cheese, you can make it for wine. Is that something you want? So the best thing to do is ask yourself before you even go shopping, okay, this is what we like and this is what we want to do. Now, is a top freezer better or the bottom freezer better or is a side-by-side -side better? Yes. It just depends on what your needs are. If you're in a small apartment and you don't need much, I mean, a standard top freezer is gonna fit you fine. If you like having the French doors, which I love French doors, you know, cause you have the big open capacity and you have the big open area up top, love it. I love the drawers. Some people don't like the drawers. That's something that you need to look for when you're buying a refrigerator. What is going to suit my needs? Other things you need to look for, dispensers. Is, are, are dispensers something you want? You know, you have some on the outside of the refrigerator and you also have some on the inside of the refrigerator. So if you're on the inside, just know that, you know, that door is gonna be opening and closing a thousand times a day, especially if you have kids trying to get water out of there. Check out how the unit's built. And when you open it up, when you grab the shelves in there, are they flimsy? Are they, do they, do they bend? Do they flex? These shelves hold lots of weight and you're going to be putting lots of items in and out of this refrigerator over the life of it. You're going to be opening and closing these drawers. Are they going to last? Because the manufacturers only warranty these shelves for as little as 14 days. And you're going to say, well, I got a year warranty on this. Well, yeah, you're right. You do have a year warranty on it for functional products. That means working parts. Shelving, manufacturers consider it cosmetic unfortunately so you have 14 days or less to report cosmetic damage shelving is not cheap shelves for a typical refrigerator a shelf will cost you a minimum of 80 to 90 dollars for a shelf so definitely check out the quality of the shelves make a check checklist of what you want and you go over these things when you go shopping then you know you'll get the right refrigerator in the end and you'll be happy with it so I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions or any comments, please put it below and be happy to answer them for you. Well, thanks for watching, but wait, don't leave yet because we have lots of other videos. You should check them out on our channel because there's lots of great information that you will definitely find useful. Uh, you know, if you have any questions about something, check them out. Uh, please like and subscribe uh, and we'll see you again real soon.